So here I have a Canboard page with two lists and a card. When I click on the card, we navigate to this board slash one slash one URL that loads and displays the card inside this model. So the second one here is the ID of the card. However, I can replace this parameter with a different card ID, one from a different board, and it still works. The card is loaded even though it doesn't belong to the board we are on. Board A only has card one. Now, the reason why this happens is because we don't have anything in place that says, hey, only cards belonging to this board should be loaded. One solution would be to go inside our controller action and add a check here that says something like, if we have a card and that card board ID is different than the loaded board ID, then a board with 404. So now if I go in the browser and refresh this page where the card ID doesn't belong to this board, we get a 404. However, there is an easier way to do this. We can remove this, go to our web routes file and add the scope bindings call to our route. What this will do is it will instruct Laravel to check if the resolved car model belongs to the resolved board model. Now, in order for this to work, we need the card's relationship on the board model. If I go in the browser and refresh, Laravel will complain that the cards method doesn't exist on the board model. So let's add it. I'll open my board model, go here and say public function cards. And since our board model has many card lists and the card list has many cards, that means we can use a has many through relationship. So here we'll do return this has many through card card list. So our board model has many cards through the card list model. And now if we refresh, the error is gone and we get the 404 page, which is what we wanted. Back to our route, we can make this even shorter. If we provide an implicit key, so ID here, we no longer need to call scope bindings. It will work out of the box. So if I refresh, we still get the 404. And this was tiny tip number four on how to use scope bindings to avoid extra guards in your controllers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.